Hello, everybody. Today, we are talking about how to build a tortoise table. And I can only show you the stage that I'm at. Right now, I'm rebuilding mine because the pawn liner wasn't properly tucked in there. And if you stay tuned, I will be posting a how to tuck in pawn liner video. But this video here is just a quick synopsis on how to build a table out of basically the cheapest materials I could possibly find. And in Canada here, that is pine. I use six foot one by 11s. So I simply just laid out three of them. And then I bought uh, two more for the sides. One, and then of course, one more here. Then, so that was five of them. And then the sixth board, I cut in half because they're one by 11s. Uh, they're referred to as one by 12. So like these are essentially a fence board, a six foot one by 12, non pressure treated wood, it's just a, a straight pine and pine isn't the best building material for tortoises as long as they're not exposed to it uh i believe pine i've read things or if, if it's here safe please uh comment and correct me but pine can release tannins tannins are not great for tortoises most natural regions that tortoises are found do not have pines uh if i understand correctly such as like an evergreen they wouldn't have that in the greek or Mediterranean areas we'll say but looking at this here once like I said so one two three six foot one by twelve boards equals 33 and a half inches so all I did then was added my sides I used those little clips or you could use bits of two by four or bits of wood or bits of literally anything angle iron would also be achievable if you're willing to cut it and drill holes I just purchased those stainless steel mounts uh, at Home Depot at the time I had a hernia so I could not lift any of these boards more than really one at a time so I assembled this in place in my basement and I actually got those cuts there cut by Home Depot for me just by laying them out on the floor of Home Depot I made came up with this plan I even used the tape measure off the shelf um, so I opened this up and made and so if you cut the last six foot board at 33 uh, inches, then you still have some cutoff pieces. And that's what I came up with this for the bottom. And that's how I built the actual bottom piece. Uh, and once again, cut them at 33 inches. If you're better with woodworking and math, then of course, feel free to make it uh, an actual true three feet. But I just thought 33 and a half inches that uh, the tortoises won't notice those two inches for indoors. But uh, Oh, it's it's my one tortoise cheat. I, I, what do you do? And the building materials are as such. Another alternative would be going to IKEA and purchasing their pre-built table. The problem with that is it will not have this strong backing. From from uh, the base there, I laid out all three pieces of the base. I screwed on the sides. I then put on the end pieces. And uh, in there as well, I had mounted the base. So it's essentially just a pallet almost. Like lay out the edge pieces and you could screw the one by 11 six foot boards to your pallet pieces, we'll say. And uh, you can see how they move and they warp and no wood is ever true. But this was my first crack at any form of real carpentry besides like school assignments that you are forced to take in like the grade seven, eight era. Um, so then once I had that box on here, I actually added the armature to hang my lights and everything was just with like the screws I had kicking around. I highly recommend getting Robertson head uh, screws because they uh, stay in the, the bit of the drill far better than Phillips heads or flat heads or, uh, maybe Torx bits or anything else of the likes. Then from there, this is me learning how to cut on a 45 or a 22 or whatever you'd like to refer to this angle. That was me learning. And I simply just took pieces of wood and drew the line and then just cut it because uh, I have zero woodworking skills. I put in those corner pieces there just because I like the storage bits and I just pre-drill holes mostly where I'd screw anytime. For example, if I would screw through there, I would just, uh, pre-drill the holes so that when it went into the boards it wouldn't split so much such as that and that helps but it's still 
it's not foolproof so you don't have to over torque your screws but really when wood prices were cheap here in canada i think i built this for like 150 dollars or so now when i built the bottom piece i think i spent 220 or 250 including pawn liner but uh thanks so much for coming in and seeing this partial build of this part of my tortoise table if you stay tuned i'll be stapling in pawn liner uh of heavy duty aquatic quality and uh touching on the topic of different qualities of pawn liner and everything he likes as such so thanks so much for following along this far if you like it please subscribe please uh like comment and uh i'll of course respond to you as soon as i can your pal hops and scotch this time signing out